Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Confrontation with me, Break It Down. Let's continue exploring Laboratory SO426. For the temple! Can't go in there. Straight away! Forward! Got ourselves some more bandages. Understood. Always a welcome addition to our inventory. Yes. In a safe zone. At your service. And a bunch of level ups. Fantastic. More strength for Darius. Intelligence for Zelia. Strength for Lothair. And wisdom for Lanwis. At once. So be it. Great points out in the middle of the lake. The great place for them. For the temple. At once. I would take the northern path. Understood. That feels a little less like the way forward. Good. For the night. Some more bandages. Belisarius? Yes. You're in the wrong franchise, buddy. I think he may have lied on his resume. At your service. Here by himself guarding the upgrade points. <laughs> he got completely yes. murked. Oh, there's his backup. Let's apply our upgrade points real quick. Give land waste magical armor and gonna go pistol or swords. I'm actually leaning towards pistol. I don't think it'd be the worst idea to keep him in the back line with Zelia and use his ability to restore her mana. And since we can boost accuracy with Darius. I think crit chance is the way to go. 
I could be wrong. In the name of Merit. Not too shabby. Understood. So be it. Any chest tucked in the corner there. For the light. Alright, did not open the door I was expecting it to open. At once. It also revealed enemies ahead. Hang in there, Darius. There's fly bandages. Did they get them off in time? He did not. I may have run Darius a little too far ahead there. That Belisarius did a lot better because he had a little bit of backup. Straight away. Also, we knocked the heal off because we still have five uses. Yes. Good. Points that we can't use yet. 
And I'm wondering if it's worth running back to the safe area. I don't know if we can use it more than once to get rid of the experience debuff. Might worth a shot. Yes. See any, any indication that it worked again? Understood. Uh, while there's no equipment or anything that you can uh, find or put on your characters to change their appearance, as you play through the game, their appearances update. I think it's per chapter. Yes. But I'm to go that way again. For the temple. So flip this one first. We can go in here, but we can't access the upgrade points because of all the rubble. Understood. And that's not a door we can interact with. For the night. At once. Is in motion. I probably don't have to waste any buffs on that one guy. Oh! Good name of merit! By the god of fire! Buddy. Nice if he would change targets like I'm asking him to. Not too late. <laughs> Forward. It may have gone a little differently if I could actually 
have my whole party focus on one enemy. <laughs> Straight away. Uh, Darius selected us, trying to get him to attack the one hybrid that everyone else was attacking, so we can burn through him a little faster. But unfortunately, it didn't pan out that way. Yes. So that should take us to the upgrade points, right? Oh, behind us again. Another lever. Oh, that must open up this door. At once. And probably call in another wave of reinforcements, right? Oh, maybe not. In the name of Merrin. Yeah. I'm not gonna put any abilities on cooldown for just the one guy. Still can't use. For the temple. At your service. I don't actually remember how you're supposed to get the glyphs to upgrade Forward. your equipment. him in. Bandages for the temple. At your service. Understood. Forward. The safe area. Good. A good check of experience. Thank <laughs> you. 
I better save Darius here. Oh, they took each other out. We just activated this too. Oh, that's right, I need to pick him up. <laughs> Yeah, I need to start using bandages more frequently. Problem is, whenever I try to use it, they just don't. So it's it's hard to justify trying to waste time. I'll uh, figure it out. Forward. Good. I remember this fight being fairly difficult my first time around. But again, I was playing on the hardest difficulty, so... Oh, maybe it won't be so bad this time. Alright, go get him, guys. Too close, that's annoying. Why is he not using this? It popped up and then he just didn't use it. Understood. Please use it. Does someone else have to use it on him? Yes. Yeah. I think we're going to win regardless, but... By the sword of fire. Would have been nice to keep Darius alive. The next time I'll try to have someone else use the bandages instead of him apply it to himself. I don't think that's going to work. Exhausted but victorious, the Akalanians inspect the monster that they have just laid low. Apart from the injuries inflicted by the Griffin warriors during the fight, the carcass of the Makasiatis clone is covered in scars. It bears the signs of having received massive injections, and the numerous swellings lead to believe that the substances injected were not well assimilated by the creature. There's no doubt about it, the Makasiatis was the object of Technomancer experiments. Unfortunately, Laboratory SO426 will reveal little else as the fight has attracted the attention of the alchemists of Durs. Already, the servants of the Scorpion come running from all sides, and the laboratory vats pour forth reinforcements. There is no solution but to flee immediately.
So melee plus 20%, range plus 5%, magic plus 8%. Selecting them does nothing. It's the unit sheet and look at them individually. It's a melee minus 5%. Range plus 5%, magic plus 18%. Lothair, melee plus 10%, magic plus 3%, sorry, 13%. The range plus 5%. Oh, it's the armor. Okay. Well, let's level everybody up. Uh, more strength for Darius. Zelia gets in uh, intelligence. Lothair, strength, and Lanwis, wisdom. Again, we're going to do the primary attribute all the way up to level 20. Or up to 20 points, and then the secondary, and then the tertiary. Uh, I'll probably just keep going with Exaltation of Soldiers. Uh, we have Divine Command now. Removes control effects from allies around the user and immune... Immunizes them. Uh, lowers users' physical penetration and physical armor values. Yeah, I'll focus on one skill, I think. Go with Meteor. A Lothair, Purifying Fire. And Lanwis, Skirmish. All right, so we can... Oh, there's level requirements. It's not the glyph requirements. I guess we can go back and put glyphs in whenever we want. Let's start with Darius and his weapon. The battle standard uh, increases hit chance for the unit and allies around him. Can't go wrong with that. And his armor, we could go with lowest chances of being hit. It's probably not the worst idea. It gives you a chance to just negate damage. I'm gonna go with physical armor though. Uh, Zelia's weapon, we will do intelligence. You could make an argument for wisdom since it gives you greater mana regen. Also, you can see that we're already getting our appearances upgraded. Uh, Lothair armor. I might give him the dodge. Intelligence, I don't think is very beneficial for him. Uh, faith points seem to regenerate pretty quickly anyway, and his abilities aren't that expensive. And his weapon, uh, strength or wisdom. I think Wisdom is one of his primaries, yeah. And Intelligence, actually. But I'm going to focus on his Strength. And Lanwis. Wisdom. Uh, let's do his Hit Chance. Well, you know what? No, Wisdom is his primary attribute. That's probably worth grabbing. Then Agility next. He can't cast spells that quickly. So does he need the regeneration? Let's not. Let's go with hit chance. I'm gonna try and make him into like a pistol powerhouse. Now armor wise, uh, lowest chance of being hit is good on him because he has an ability that scales with that or stacks with it. What's his new skill? He gets cleansing. Removes target's debuff effects. If an effect is removed, heals the target and allies around it. Then Lothair got Wave of Fervor. Inflicts magical damage and lowers the magical armor value of enemies around the user. And Zelia got nothing new. Okay.
Let's all right, get our health to come back, and then push forward. A Dana kill. I also fought a Vicar back here. I get a death blow on this guy to save our lives. Maybe we need to take this guy out first. So I don't know if the Danikill was somehow keeping that guy alive. But we'll operate under the assumption that's the case going forward. Because we couldn't take out the uh, monstrosity until after we killed the other guy. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Uh, next time we will push forward. Map does not seem very large. But we'll see. Either way, for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.